And I really want to ask you what advice you would give to young activists who are organizing today. Yeah, well, I don't know if I have that much advice. <laughs> I haven't really done that great myself. One would be not to be a workaholic yeah. and to pay attention to your family if you have one. Mm -hmm. Another one is not to get disillusioned because of all the forces arrayed against us, because mm -hmm. there are a lot, and to try and understand them, like what the corporations want and who's, mm -hmm. whose interests they're serving and how that's playing out in our work. Mm -hmm. And um, even if it seems hopeless to try and keep the fight for justice alive. Um, I can remember in the early 70s yeah. going down at the, to the Burrard Bridge and, uh, for a peace march. Mm -hmm. and there was only about 30 of us there and most of them were, I was young back then, most of them were in their 60s and 70s and 80s and mm -hmm. they were communists and they were women, yeah. most of them. And they were just keeping the idea alive that we could march against a nuclear war. Mm. But, you know, every year it grew a little bit and then in the early 80s we started, we had that march with 100,000 people. So if, yeah. if there's somebody there to keep the idea of justice alive, then when the conditions get right, it'll be there and other people can push it forward yeah. really effectively, I think.